Do you yep. think the Penny looks more like Ed Helms or John Krasinski from The Office? Oh boy, I I gotta go. Can, can you give me a rid it did do when he gets back off of mute here? That'll, <laughs> <laughs> that'll give me my answer. It, okay, yep. here we go. Yeah, yeah. it's Mark Williams. Stay uh, on mute. Go ahead, boys. <laughs> so I like it. Yeah. I, I like Mark Williams. I, he's a great lob threat. He's a great defender. I think he's much more ready right now to play than Jalen Duran is. He lo- is a little bit older. He's much better positionally. Uh, genuinely, like you can make a case, he has better tools than Jalen Duran. At the end of the day, uh, he has a nine foot nine standing reach. He has seven foot two with seven foot seven, seven foot eight wingspan, something like that. Uh, he has the biggest standing reach in the NBA unless Taco Fall comes back into the NBA. So. I I get this. I think it makes sense. He will be a great pick and roll rim runner for LaMelo Ball, and he will be a potential defensive anchor for the Hornets. Yeah, I dig it. I think it makes sense. Yep, and, and it's... Ben, I think I that's... Think you're up, he's on. All right, I'm, I'm off mute, but you, you can talk about it. I love Mark Williams, so go ahead, Spence. Yeah, I love him too. Um, and I think that, you know, this is, I think, 12th on my board right now. Like, really, really like him. Um, dependable guy. And at some point, like, I know a lot of times there are conversations that happen about when do you draft a big who's not necessarily going to be this absolutely elite, super versatile guy and do they still have middle of the first round appeal. And like Williams is just a solid enough player all the way around that you believe he's going to be in any type of rotation on a team that you put him on. Yeah, that's that's just outside the lottery type of value. Um, big, big, big fan of his motor and a lot of the little things that he does well. So if you're Charlotte and you're debating between you know, Mark Williams and Jalen Duran there uh, taking the safer route, not just in terms of more ability to play right away, but also that he, there's probably no questions about the personality, the motor, the, any of those other things. Uh, not necessarily saying that there are with Duran, but uh, having a known commodity that you have a few more years of film on, you've seen how he works on a championship level team at Duke. Uh, th- that translation is a lot more smooth for the Hornets. And, and just nasty. Like, like has some nastiness to him. When I saw him play at BC, he had an intentional foul, which wasn't really dirty by nature, but I was like, ooh, didn't know he, he had, like, all that in him. Like, he blocks shots and tries to punch them. It's not like a block, a tip back. It's like he's trying to bat into the stands and then take off, go full court, and dunk and rip the rim off. And, and I like it, similar to what you said. He showed the year before he was the, the main scoring punch because Jalen Johnson and that team was just – disheveled it was all over the place and then a year later there's more guys that want to score and he's okay just playing that role and being the guy end to end snatching rebounds blocking shots stepping up and rotating yeah i don't i don't know how much of like the switching foot speed stuff i think it's crushed a little bit uh unjustifiably so like it's not great uh but as as another rim running lob catcher that we want for Lamella ball not a bad guy maybe jalen during the highlights will be a little bit better but mark williams fits that bill as well <laughs> 